So what I'm going to show you today is we're going to take an unsightly area of weeds like this and we're going to turn it into something that looks well groomed and very nice for you and we're going to do it for free. As many of you know, we just had the tree cutting service come through so our trees can breathe. They look so much better. And so this is the project I'm starting right here. This is sitting in the ball field at the other, at the lower end of the property. And I talked to the tree people and they said, it's there. You just have to do the manual labor yourself of picking it up and transporting it. While you're down there, be as courteous as possible. Make sure that you're not leaving a mess that looks nice as you um, saw it when you first came. And also be careful, there are red ants down there. Please do not step in an ant's nest while you are shoveling. Now this is a method of sheet mulching. So what you do is you get cardboard that you don't need anymore. So instead of sticking in the recycling box, it's free, it's already yours, you place it down on the ground in the area that you want to cover. And then you can see I've got cardboard right here sticking up. You cover it up with your wood chips. Good job, bud. So you wanna get complete coverage. If you see little pieces sticking out like that, it just means you need to go get another load. And so this will take care of any unsightly areas that we have. This is for low or to no traffic on the borders. So this is not really nice um, stuff that you would put in place of a lawn or anything like that. You can also use this to mulch your plants. But what I'm showing you here is not the same type of sheet mulching that you will hear about with permaculture. This does not grow plants on it. It is not designed to. It'll eventually break down into something that is very nice to grow plants on. But right now this is a weed barrier and the effect is to make it look as neat as possible. So if you see big chunks in it that don't look very neat, you just remove those and make it look as manicured as you can. If you're thinking to yourself, well, why do I need the cardboard step at all? I'll show you what happens if you do not have that. So this is putting down wood chips without the cardboard barrier underneath. The weeds just happily come right back through and pretty soon it's as if you did nothing at all. There you go weed control for free. If you're watching this video and you're wondering where to get wood chips because you don't live where I do, it's very easy. Wherever you are, there's a landscaping or a tree trimming company. Give them a call and ask if they have a load that they would mind dumping on your property. They can dump right on your driveway. A lot of places don't mind doing this for free. Others, it'd be really nice if you would tip them anyway. <laughs> Others may uh, charge a fee, but usually it's free because not all properties like this one have a place where they can unload conveniently and they need to get unloaded so they can get onto the next site. So give them a call and see what they have for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll come to you soon with more fun tips, tricks, and encouragement.